friends, this is Stephanie of Stephanie's Your Escape. Thank you for joining me today for episode number 72. This is a crochet podcast where I take you on my yarning adventures in hopes that you find some sort of inspiration. So grab your favorite beverage, prop those feet up because you deserve to, and enjoy what I have to share. So, it's been quite a few weeks since I recorded last. We have been super busy with the end of school happening, um... We redid our front porch, which is supposed to be a simple project, a simple uh, pressure wash and paint turned into a larger project, um, taking up our whole weekend of uh, Memorial Day. Um, just lots of things happening, and so I'm hoping now to be back on track with recording at least every other week is the minimum. That's where I want to be. Sometimes I'm going to record, you know, weekly. I don't know. Depends. Um, so I have lots of progress and there was a, there was quite a few days there. I didn't crochet at all. Um, I went through a small spell of like not crocheting for like five days. I was just so tired between work and life in general. I was just very, very tired. And so I didn't crochet. So I have no finished objects for you guys today. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I have lots of progress on a handful of things. So lots to share with you guys today. So we're going to dive right into it. So the first item I'm going to show you guys is my plaid uh, corner to corner join as you go blanket. This is my easy peasy blanket. I work on this with my night, my uh, knit night girls. And I'm going to try and show you guys from the bottom up. Hopefully you can see it. So it's getting to be a good size. Uh, this is a crochet uh, tutorial on Fiber Spiders channel. Um, there's multiple videos for the tutorial to join these squares as you go. What I like about this pattern is you can add on wherever you want. I had two more rows of color off to the side here that I took out because I felt like my blanket was in too wide. Um, I'm going to keep going up now and see where I end up um, and go from there. Uh, I've used this technique as well too on borders of blankets as well, um, just like a corner to corner. Um, I've done a plaid effect around a grafkin, like I did a center picture, and then I did a plaid effect around um, the outside of the picture. Um, that was, it was a fox blanket. I don't even know if I was recording at the time, um, but it was, a, um, it was a picture of a fox. And the colors were gray, orange, and white. And it was for a gift for one of my good friends. But I like the technique. And so loving how it's turning out. Lots of ends to weave in. Sometimes I weave them in. Sometimes I don't. It depends on how I feel. But I did get the yarn. I believe I showed you guys in my last yarn haul. The um, I did get more yarn for this blanket. So I had enough. And the yarn I'm using for it is all Big Twist. Um, I'm really becoming a fan of Big Twist. I've just recently started using it. And um, I really like it. I wish my local Joann's had more colors and stuff to um, look at. But there's a bunch online. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, these are the three colors. It's Big Twist, um, Value Yarn, and here's the label. It's 100% acrylic, 380 yards, and it's a four medium. This is the color wine. I love this dark red color. And this is light rose and white. So I got inspiration for this color scheme when I did um, an owl, Amigurumi. The body of the owl was done in um, the plaid color work. And I enjoy, and I use these colors, and I enjoyed it so much that I'm making uh, a blanket in the same color scheme. So there's that. I've got so much on my table. Um, so I'm just maneuvering things around. So yes, that got quite a bit of love. So the other thing that I've been working on is my Ardeth baby blanket. Now, I'm not as far along as I'd like to be on it. 
and um, I wish I was much further. I'm on round 23 of 92. It, this pattern is found on Ravelry, and um, that's a black and white picture. And um, yes, I want it for my local um, fair to enter, but I had done some math to, on how many rows a week I need to do to get it done in time, and I'm quite a ways behind, but that's okay. I still have time, um, and if it's not done in time, it's fine. It's just a goal that I had, and I don't, I always set goals for myself um, in everything on, in life, between my yarny projects, life in general, stuff like that. Um, I'm always setting goals for myself, and um, I'm okay if I don't meet them, but I, I enjoy setting them because it gives me something to strive for. So here it is so far. That is where I was last time using an eye hook. So I got, you know, quite a few rows on there. Um, like I said, I want to be further along. I'm loving how it's going. So I'm alternating. So here's the yarn I'm using. And these are very wimpy skeins, just so you know, because I just pulled the ones I had on my cart. I'm using Carrying Simply Soft and White. And this is uh, Lion Brand Heartline, Heartline, Heartland in the colorway Denali. Uh, this is a discontinued color. And when it went on clearance for a dollar on their website, I bought a whole bunch of it. And then also Lion Brand Heartland in Grand Canyon. And this you could still get. So, yes. Those three colors are what's making this up. And I have, um, how I'm doing it is I started off with pink and I put white and I put the, the Grand Canyon, then white, and then back to pink, then white. So white is between each color and that's how it's getting this effect. So no matter what row I'm on, I go with what's next in the sequence and I'm enjoying it. I think, um, I think this is definitely worthy of entering my local um, fair. And that's my intentions. Um, as far as my ends, I'm weaving some in. I leave some undone. Um, and then every time I work on a row, I, I weave a couple more in. Simply because this one, I, if I mess something up, I want to go back and fix it so I don't get too far ahead on my ends. But I do want to keep them in control because each row has two ends. So, there we are for, with that so far. And that pattern's by Hooked on Sunshine, by the way, too. And what else? Well... Excuse me. I currently have a make along going on called It's Cake Time. Um, I created this challenge in the event because I have a lot of cake yarn. And if you guys listened to me before, I have my thoughts about cake yarn and variegated yarn. And But I love the color, so I keep buying it, and I will continue to do that. But um, I wanted to use some up, and I, you know, I feel like cake yarn or variegated yarn can be beautiful if it's matched with the right pattern. So I have five cakes, and this is a wimpy cake. This is the second cake in my blanket that I'm working on. This is Karen Latte Cakes. This was a gift from my local yarny friend. Um, that's all that's left of it. And it's the colorway Kissy Kissy. It's a five bulky, 58% acrylic, 42% nylon, and there's 530 yards on one cake. So this is the second cake I'm using. So this challenge is going to the end of June, and you do have a chance. I'll show you my blanket here in a second. You do have a chance to win two cakes of Sweet Roll, Premier Sweet Roll, with one of my stitch markers. And this is 100% acrylic for medium, um, 245 yards in the colorway Cheesecake Pop. So you have a chance to win these two. Um, you have to the end of June. You can use any cake that you want as long as a cake is involved. You can mix it with a solid color as well too. Um, 
just as long as you have um, at least one cake in your project. Make whatever you want. So mine is this V-stitch blanket. So let me find where I'm at here. I'm using an L hook on this one. So it's a good size so far. I don't know if I'm going to be using all five cakes. It's pretty wide. Ugh. This blanket is for me. Look how wide that is. It's pretty wide. I'm going to fold it in half. So I um, wanted a blanket because I found this crate at Hobby Lobby that I liked that I wanted to put in one of my rooms and then have this blanket draping over it. So that's where I got the inspiration. And then I decided, you know, that I wanted to make a challenge of it. And I'm loving this. Now, this yarn is very luxurious. I love it, love it, love it. Now, I've attempted another pattern with this yarn. It just was not working out. Like I said, I feel that um, cakes and stuff are beautiful once you find the perfect pattern for it. And I feel like um, with this, I just ended up doing a simple V-stitch blanket because it just needed something simple. I don't even know. I, my stitch marker from where I was last time is in here somewhere and I folded it up. But I put quite a ways. I was barely on the first cake. So a little... Here it is. It's a cupcake stitch marker that um, Kim gifted me. And so I put quite a bunch on it. A little goes a long way with this, with this yarn, with this and this stitch together. So I'm just enjoying the, the, um, the easiness, it, it, the, what's the words I'm trying to find? I'm letting the yarn do the work. I am, just enjoying it and it's for me um so I like it very very soft but I do want to do the pattern I discussed it in my other videos I do want to do the pattern for um that I initially wanted to do but just not with this this cake yarn I'll find another cake in my stash that I will do that with so you, there's still plenty of time I'm hoping to get that done by the end of the month. That is my goal. And it's, I've been going back and forth between my plaid blanket and my uh, V-stitch blanket on knit night with my knit night girls. And so I think I'm just going to focus on my V-stitch blanket for a while. So I can get it done. What else am I working on? <clears throat> well, the attack of the uh, Amigurumi 2022 is still in full swing. Um, I wanted to do a video last weekend to announce the June theme, um, but I did make a Facebook post on my Facebook of the, the June theme announcement and it's zoo animals for June. Now, um, I don't have a picture of what you can win. I still need to do that. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this, I have that picture up. If not, it should be up sometime today. And so for May was around the pond. And, um, I'm still working on my duck. I am. So let me show you the duck. He's just like so far. Here he is. Um, I kind of wish I did him a more fun color, but I, he's the standard, um, yellow and orange, uh, baby duck. Um, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, we shall see what, what happens next. I, I kind of want to start another duck with a different, more fun yarn, but it's already June and I really want to start a zoo animal and I haven't decided what I want to do for that yet either, but I want to get this done. So, I mean, I have quite a ways to go yet, but it shouldn't be too awful. I don't have a whole lot of parts to attach. 
Um, so here he is so far. It's my duck. It's uh, the pattern I'm using is off of um, Grayson Yarn, and it's a free pattern on her website. The yarn I'm using for this um, is I love this yarn because I'm really loving this yarn and blankets and amigurumi. I really enjoy it with the amigurumi. It's so soft, but it's sturdy all at the same time. Um, this is 100% acrylic, uh, for medium, and this is the color yellow. Now for the orange for its feet and what it's going to be its bill, I pulled this out of my stash, and this is Red Heart Super Saver. 100% acrylic, for medium, 364 yards, and the color pumpkin. So I pulled that from my stash instead of buying new, um, which I tend to do sometimes when I don't feel like digging through my stash. I'll just run to the store, find the colors I need, and that be that. So there's the progress on that. Um, that was for May. I drew the winners. Yeah, for May. I drew the winners for that already. And um, let's see what you can win for June. So for June, I pulled out this yarn here. I think this would be a really cute amigurumi. I'm trying to pull yarns that you can make amigurumi in. Um, this is I Love This Yarn print in the colorway Cobblestone. And it's a four medium, 100% acrylic. And there is 252 yards. I'm one of my stitch markers. So it's this pretty... Um, like marled red, blue, and there's some tan in there, a little bit of tan right in there. Um, some speckling going on. I'd be interested to see how this works up. And it looks like there's even some purple in there. I just now noticed that. It looks like there's some speckles of purple. So I'd be interested to see how this looks. They don't put a, a picture on the label of how that would look. So that's the June prizes. Um, what else? Well, so I have two designs currently going on. I really, 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 really want to be done with my first one, um, which is a diamond shaped scarf. I am not, but that's okay. I do have plans on getting this done on my side um, at the end of, by the end of June and out to my pattern testers and so we can get this released to the world. Um, so here is my original um, uh, what are you, what's the word I'm looking for? Sample piece. My original sample piece. Um, and this I made with Yarnby Urban Cheek um, that I had that was gifted to me a long time ago. Um, 275 yards, 78% acrylic, 22% cotton. It's a three light. Um, this was the original sample. And basically I made it with this to get the numbers, measurements, all that stuff and the shape that I wanted. Because the original yarn I wanted to use, you cannot frog. And I was doing quite a bit of frogging with this to get what I wanted. And this is very pretty as well too. So, I mean, I could simply just write the pattern off of this, but my, that's not my vision. My vision is this one here. So you can see more of that texture in there. And then I added, I tweaked it a little bit more. You're increasing on both sides. I tweaked it a little bit more. This yarn is also size three, but it's, it's thinner than the other one. The, the other one has cotton in it. This one does not. So it's more, more drapier, more, more lighter, more airy. And the yarn is this Yarn B 44th Street, which you can still purchase. Um, it's a three light, 540 yards in one of these cakes, 70% acrylic, 30% polyamide. And this is the color mustard. I love this color. 
So I'm this this is my vision right here. I did this one to get my shape and my numbers and my increases and decreases the way I want it. And this is my actual vision. So I have my pattern uh, typed up and I'm going based off of that, making some tweaks in it as I go. Um, I'm almost halfway and then I'll start on the decrease side. So I'm very excited about it. Um, I'm hoping the tweak, because I want to pretty much use up this whole cake, and I'm hoping the tweak that I made, um, I added another increased repeat, and I'm hoping that I didn't mess that up, because I used two K or two skeins of this Urban Cheek, and there's 275 yards, so there's more yardage, and this is what I had left over with the second skein, and... I'm hoping this works out. I'm thinking it will. We shall see. We shall see. <laughs> but I love, 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 love this. Um, just so, so pretty. It's exactly what I wanted. And I can't wait to release this to everybody to make. Very, very excited. So there's that right now. Like I said, my goal is to have this done by the end of June so um, I can get to my pattern testers. I honestly don't think it would take that long um, to make. Um, once you understand where you're at in the pattern, it's not, you can pretty much figure it out. Now, the other pattern design that I'm working on is living in this very special bag because it's a very special project inside. <sighs> inside is a request from my daughter for a red panda. Now, I don't know how much... I haven't worked on it out a whole lot. I'm not going to lie. This is not the priority right now. I'm trying to get some other parts done. So here's the body. It's a red panda... Um, with very specific um, details from my daughter. So I am I think I might make this in, a, into a design. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I would like to. But like I said, my daughter has some very specific uh, requests for this red panda. It's not your average red panda. And I had the body done the last time I shared you guys. And then I'm working on the head. So it actually goes like this. So I have some, I did get a few rows done, I'm pretty sure, since I showed you guys. But I have, I might go back and make some adjustments. This may be coming out because it's not where I want it. It's not centered. I'm trying to do color work with the the face, but I don't think it's it's not working out the way I want it to. Because there's, there's white pieces on the red panda that's around the snout. So that's what I was trying to do here, but it's not turning out the way I want it to. So I may have to go back to the drawing board for that and think of a different way. Cause I love how the color work looks inside, like with the project on the amigurumi. It is a big pain in the butt, but there's no sewing. So there's, but there's a lot of cutting and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know, but I got to go back to the drawing board for the head. But the, the, the numbers are right. It's just where I want it to be is not. So it's fine. Uh, the yarn I'm using for this, my label fell off, is I love this yarn. 100% um, acrylic, four medium, 355 yards. This is terracotta. This is the orange. And the dark color is this Craft Smart um, and the color Wine. This is a very, very dark red. Some lighting, it looks purple, but this is what my daughter chose. See, now I guess my shirt looks purple. So I don't know. Uh, sorry, 354 yards. Um... Four medium, 
100% acrylic. So, yeah. This is what my daughter wanted. Um, it looks like a very dark red, but in this lighting right now, it's looking very dark purple. So I don't know. We shall see. But like I said, these are her specifications. She picked out the whole thing in this process. Um, she knows it's going to take a while. Um, she picked the colors. She picked where she wanted things to be. Um, there is an inspiration from it, but um, she's just making it her own from that. So, yes, it has been touched. I don't have a priority on this one right now, um, which is okay because... Like I said, life is busy. It's summertime and school is out and um, lots of hours worked at work and, you know, just life in general. It's just been busy, busy, busy. And so I just go through day by day trying to um, do what I can and that's just how it's going to be. Um, what other make-alongs are going on? There is a cuddle along that I'm doing with Crochet Creations by Christy. You can find that on her Facebook and my Facebook. We just recently did a no filter fiber cast, which you'll find on her channel. I'll be sure to link that down below. Um, so I have those makes on that channel as, or that show that you only see there as well too, which just reminded me, I do have one finished object. So I'll be back one second. Okay, so the no filter that I do with Christy, um, I uh, I only show those projects on there. But when I finish them, I like to show them on my regular channel as well, too, because not everybody watches the no filter, right? So I do have a finished shawl to share with you guys. It's this one here. This is the Halo shawl. It's a YouTube Um Tutorial. She also does have a written tutorial as well, too. And I can't remember by who it's by. It's in my other notebook. Um, so what we do is we have these late night shopping sprees. And one of the yarns was this one. And it's an ice yarns. And it's very, very nice. I love how this striped up. Her and I both did the same pattern. She finished hers a long time ago. And I just finished mine just recently. So I do have a finished object for today. Um, I was preparing everything and I'm trying to get done because we have stuff going on today. So yes, I almost forgot about it, but I remembered. So yes, love, love how this turned out. Um, it's nice and drapey. It will keep you warm. So yes, definitely some pretty fall colors though. I like it. Not with this shirt, but I like it. So, yeah. Enjoyed making this very simple. One row repeat. She does have uh, how to do the border on there, but I just kept going. And I just left it as is. And, yeah. Very pretty colors, though. So I do have a finished object. So... I think that is all I currently have. So I was talking about the baby along. That's how I remembered all this. Um, so yes, I, um, we do have a baby, uh, cuddle along happening till the end of, it was the end of June. And then, um, Chrissy suggested that we extend it to July, which I'm okay with. And, um, so you have until then to get, um, at least three finished objects um, for a baby set. They don't have to match or anything like that. You can enter on her Facebook page and my Facebook page. All the details are on both of our Facebook pages. So I think that's it now. Yes. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that's okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. I think that's all I have. So I hope you all have a fabulous week and remember to keep that yarn running through those fingers and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.